Genius. Short film idea. Heaven's leaderboard. Lady in brought to heaven via an angelic refulgent staircase of shiny brightness. She arrives to a leaderboard with all her accolades upon it. One notable accolade of hers was her hours spent shaving. 142 hours, placing her in three billionth, 100 millionth, 54 thousandths, 40th, two place on humanity's leaderboards. With all other rankings in similar positions, she was about average for humanity's achievements. Yet, there was one so accolade that stood out amongst all others, and twas her time spent masturbating. It turned out to be humanity's record, humanity's all-time record. The buzzers in heaven began to go off, boom, boom, boom. The bells began a ringing, the angels began a hyping, and the people began a swooning over this lady's record of humanity's greatest masturbator. Surprisingly, there was this one smug, numinous adumbration of this chonky figure in the distance. A hippopotamus. Strange, Jade thought. Aloud, Jade thought. This is gonna suck after a while, Jade thought. <laughs> what is this hippopotamus doing in heaven, she thought. It was not that she was specious or anything. She just thought of heaven as this human thing, because... You know, Jesus stuff with interactions with people. Uh, dogs would be involved somehow, but she didn't really think twice about hippopotami being up in heaven. Little did she know that this chunky hippopotamus was the old time, all time record holder for masturbation. And he was made sure she knew it. Right on the spot, this hippopotamus whipped it out and started. This story is forked, so. There's two versions. There's the cum cloud version, where all residents of heaven are cumvigants, with the surprise twist that the hippopotamus was God. Then there's the more well-known version, which I don't prefer, but it's, uh, it's okay, sorry. The, the hippopotamus cannot come. It has difficulty finishing, where he, he masturbated his whole life because he could never come. So Jade argues that she should top the leaderboard because she came loads and loads and loads and loads of times. And the hippopotamus, I just feel bad for that bottomus in this one. She ends up winning her case and she tops heaven's leaderboard for masturbation. Albeit, I do think duration or the amount of time the hippopotamus spent masturbating, I mean, his whole life in this scenario is quite impressive and may very well be deserving of topping heaven's leaderboard but this is all up to interpretation what type of lens or pers perspective like if you want to use a sociologist per uh, lens or pers perspective or a historical perspective it really depends on how you want to interpret the story